Hello and welcome to tutorial 7 using the mirror modifier in Blender. So you can use modifiers to do lots of interesting and useful things to your meshes. Enter edit mode by pressing the tab key. Choose face selection and then press A to select all of the faces. Press W to enter the specials menu and then choose subdivide and select two subdivisions. Again, you'll end up with a Rubik's Cube type shape. Press the A key to deselect all, and then press Ctrl and OR to do a loop cut down the center of the cube. Choose Vertex Selection and press 1 on your number pad to go to Front View. Press B to box select, and then switch off the Limit Selection to Visible button which is located beside the face selection button in the, at the bottom of the uh, viewing pane in the properties panel there. Select the left three boxes of the cube in front view. Press X to, to delete them and then choose vertices from the option. So the option gives you, you can choose vertices, edges or faces. Uh, the golden rule when you're deleting is to delete what you selected. So if you had selected vertices, then you should delete vertices. If you had selected edges, you should delete edges, and so on. Same for the faces. We're now left with half a cube. So open the Object Modifiers tab in the Properties panel. It is represented by a wrench symbol in the tabs there. Each tab has its own icon. Add a modifier from the list called Mirror. So we looked at the subsurface modifier in a previous tutorial. So now we're adding the Mirror modifier. The full cube reappears. We have a number of options for each modifier. If we switch back to Object Mode by pressing the Tab key, we can compare the cube in Object Mode in comparison to Edit Mode. So as you can see, only half of the cube is actually editable now. The other half is a mirror reflection, which is not editable. So switch the Limit Selection to Visible button back on again, and select the center face of the cube and press G to grab or move it outwards. Select the top face and move it upwards. Now select the corner vertices and change the pivot center to the 3D cursor in the properties panel. Make sure that the 3D cursor is in the center of the cube. Change the pivot point back to median and if we move faces in certain directions with the mirror modifier we can accidentally create holes or overlaps which are unsightly and glitchy and basically not what we want. Be very careful of doing this. But under the mirror modifier options, if we select the clipping option to tick that box, we can prevent this from happening. Extrude the character's nose, and this time there should be no overlap. So there are tons of other modifiers built into Blender, each of which modifies the elements of your object in different ways. Experiment with them all and see what you can come up with. So this has been a very short overview of how to use the mirror modifier in Blender.